Hello, and welcome to the High School Sports Chat at thedepost.com. I'm Joey LaMonaco, joined by Sean Manning, our preps writer at thedepost.com. How are you doing today, Sean? Good, Joey. You? I'm doing pretty well. Thanks for asking. So uh, we have kind of a uh, truncated prep slate today, Sean. Um, only three of our four area teams are in play. Preston has the week off. Um, let's start with Morgantown, a little bit of a revenge tour they're on here. Uh, teams that, that knocked them off last year, starting with Parkersburg South. Um, they get Wheeling Park uh, this week, and that's one of those teams that, that dealt them a defeat last year. What do you, what do you see coming out of this game? Uh, Wheeling Park is a very good team. Uh, they're undefeated right now. Uh, they did have a tie to Bridgeport, but that was only because of it was canceled because of lightning. But uh, Wheeling Park is a very talented team, but Morgantown is just on a roll right now. Um, they did suffer a bad loss to Martinsburg, but it was only by one point uh, on a blocked field goal. Uh, but uh, yeah, Morgantown is on a revenge tour to say they uh, they beat Musselman, who beat them last year. They beat Parkersburg South, who beat them last year. And uh, Wheeling Park is another team who uh, got the Mohegans last year towards the end of the game. It was another heartbreaking loss. But, uh, yeah, it'll, this is probably one of the top games in the state between two top ten teams. Looking forward to it. Let's go across town to university. The Hawks need something, mm -hmm. anything to go right. They're sitting at 0-6. But it looks like uh, a new target might have emerged uh, in, in the passing game. Talk, t talk to me a little bit about Caleb Jennings. Yeah, uh, Caleb has emerged as a second threat uh, for quarterback Clay Bailey. Um, it was pretty much just Colin Molnar was the only threat for the Hawks. But uh, in the past two weeks against Musselman and Greenbrier East, uh, Jennings has caught two touchdowns and has uh, surpassed 100 yards receiving for the year. Um, and yeah, they desperately need to get something on offense, uh, especially now that uh, Isaiah Utt, the fullback, is a little banged up. He, he was the majority of their offense. But uh, at this point, you just got to build for the future for the Hawks, yeah. and that's exactly what they're doing. Okay, let's move on to Clay Battelle. They're sitting at 1-4, and four, but they've had, they've had quite the schedule, almost analogous to WVU's month of October on the high school realm. Right. Um, they, they get Bishop Donahue this week, um, you know, a private school team, a, a pretty good private school mm -hmm. team at that. What are you expecting out of Clay Battelle? Uh, they're kind of in the same boat as the university. Uh, they're trying to just get something going, and it's really tough when every single week you're playing a team that's in the top ten and that's basically what they've done. Bishop Donahue is 5-1 and one on the year, and their only loss was to a top-five team. Uh, you just got to try and get these young guys that are playing to get game experience, to get better. And uh, if you can end up knocking off one of these really tough teams, it could go a long way to giving kids confidence and uh, to try and figure something out for next season. All right, Sean. Well, thank you so much for your time, and be sure to check out thedepost.com for all of our preps coverage.